Ask just five simple questions, and all I require from you is honesty. Yeah. And then this question will help you think if you've been good or not, all right? I'm just gonna make it quick. Question one, have you ever told a lie in your entire life? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? No. Yeah. You have never disobeyed your parents? Not like every day. I probably like, don't say that shit, but not. Okay. Cool. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Like, oh my. You know yeah. what, at the end, right? Fourth question is, have you ever taken something from someone or somewhere, irrespective of its value, without permission? Even right. if it was small? Right. Pen, pencil, ruler, no. rubber. I asked for a pencil then. Yeah. How about you? We asked. You asked, yeah? yeah? Last question is, have you ever looked with lust? Yeah. You know what that is, yeah. right? So you've told me, you've lied before, you've used God's name in vain, you've never stolen, you've never disobeyed your parents, but you've lasted. Yeah. Now remember, one sin is enough to send you to hell. Yeah. So if I just ask, have you ever told a lie? And you said, yes, yeah. that is enough to send you to hell. Because heaven is perfect and holy, we are not perfect and holy. Now if God is to judge you by the Ten Commandments, we have just looked at five of them, you've broken three of them, do you think you're going to be found innocent or guilty? Guilty. Guilty, guilty as charged, right? Heaven or hell? Hell. hell yeah. Now does that concern you? Yeah, it does, yeah. When are you going to fix up your life and uh, turn away from sin and put your trust in Jesus? Yeah. yeah. When, when, when are you going to do that? Now. Now? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. Let me finish the gospel for you now. This is what it means. The Ten Commandments are called the moral laws. You have heard of the Ten Commandments, yeah? yeah. Thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt have no other gods before me. All of that is called the moral laws. Yeah. Whose moral laws? God's moral laws. You and me have broken those moral laws. Christ paid the fine of those moral laws by dying for us on the cross. Yeah. He was whipped, he was stripped naked, he was humiliated before men, he was spat on, he, he, they put a, a crown of thorns on his head, and then he was nailed to a cross, and then he died. But he was buried, and praise God, he rose again from the dead. And now he says, if you repent of your sins, which, which means acknowledge that you're a sinner, turn away from that sin and put your trust in me, I will grant you eternal life. That's what Jesus said. And you're willing to do that now, right? You really mean that from your heart? Now, when you do that, three things you must realize is very important is this. You need to pray. You need to read your Bible. Do you have a Bible? Well, I can get you one. You think you do? I can get you one if you want to. And you need to fellowship with other believers, like going to church and there. Just fellowship with Bible-believing churches. Yeah. Not all churches are Bible-believing. Some churches are running away from the, from the teachings of the Bible. Yeah. So you follow a church that follow the Bible, right? Yeah. And if you're willing to do that now, what's your name, brother? Zander. Eh? Zander. Azander. Yeah. Azander, did I say that right? Zander. Zander. Yeah. Do you mind spelling that for me, please? Oh, Zander, I see it. X-A-N-D-E-R. And what's your name? Harry. Harry. I'm Johnny, nice to meet you guys. And do you believe in coincidences? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I just had him out here, walk down that direction, I was in the square, and I walked this way, I was just giving out trucks, and I knew God had somebody that I should speak to today, and it's you. So we're gonna pray if you don't mind, if you're, you're not embarrassed to pray in public, I'm not. You're not embarrassed? You're not, yeah? I'll give you a commitment card prayer, all right? And you can read it as I pray, and then we're gonna pray this prayer together, all right? Because the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, yeah. all right? Shall I pray? Zander and uh, Harry. Harry. I'll just pray. Loving Heavenly Father, I thank you for this a brief moment that we have had with Zander and Harry. I know it's you who ordained the timing for people to come to you. And I thank you for this moment. I thank you for them, Father. I know it's not going to be easy being a Christian because it puts you away from the world. You have to be separate from the world and yet inside the world. So I pray that you may give Zander and Harry the ability and the strength and the capability to follow your ways and to stand firm in faith and your name might be exalted amongst men and even amongst the people around them. And I pray that you may give them faith and fill them with your Holy Spirit that they may continue to walk in your, walk in your precepts. And I ask of these things in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Do you mind reading that and see what it says?
Do you agree with that? So I'll, all, I'll, all I'll do is I'll ask you to pray this after me, obviously, so it, it can be coming from your heart and your mouth, obviously. Repeat after me if you don't mind. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please forgive me. And now turn from everything that I know is sin. Thank you that you died on the cross for me. And you rose from the dead. I declare that you are my Lord and Savior. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit to help me and guide me. I commit my life to you. Amen. Now, should I tell you what you've just done? You have made the best decision of your entire life. This is so important. If somebody is to hold a knife to your throat and tell you to denounce the name of Jesus, you say, I'd rather die because that's what will happen to me. And I pray I have the courage to do that. Because if I die without Jesus, I'm going to hell. Yeah. Where, do you live in Peterborough? Um, uh, we live in Market Deepen. Where? Market Deepen. Market Deepen. I don't know where that is actually. Well, I don't know this area. It's a little bit outside it's of it. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was, I was going to invite you to our church, but obviously. If